Hello, thank you for joining me. This is Rich Mencio with Onet. Today I'm going to break down Ames Harden's release. All right, let's jump into this clip. Now we're straight here. So let's clip this a little bit forward. Okay, clip by clip. Now, index fingers here, ring finger is here. They have a, they have a good spacing from the middle finger. They're leaving the ball simultaneously or almost simultaneously, which puts the ball on the middle, middle finger. Uh, so this ends up becoming a nice shot with um, a very little mechanical adjustment that needs to happen. So let's continue it with a forward motion. And he just needs to break his wrist straight down, right? So you see how nice and just straight down he came with that because the hand was underneath the ball in the center and the fingers are evenly spaced and the index and the ring finger came off the ball simultaneously, um, which is no mechanical adjustments that need to be made, All right? And we'll find, we'll find one or two that he does need to make an adjustment. So now on this one, you see how he starts with the, the hand is uh, not, not directly underneath the ball, so it's not center, but then again, he's not finished with his shot. So you see how his wrist is turning to get underneath the ball. So he's out here on the side of it, and then he's turning, and now he gets to get that hand underneath the ball. That's pretty darn close to center. And then he has to make a little bit of an adjustment because if you see the index finger is sitting further to the outside. So there's, there's not as much weight sitting on the ball. There's more weight on the ring finger and the middle finger. He'll make an adjustment He'll make an adjustment to push with the ring finger to push that ball towards the middle finger. So I'll click it frame by frame. Okay, do you see how the index finger came off? So he has to make a little bit more pressure on the ring finger, pushing the ball towards this middle finger. There it is. Ring finger pushes the ball towards the middle, and then it comes off the middle finger. So it can be an adjustment on either side, depends on where, where the ball, if the ball is sitting too much on one finger or the other. If it's sitting uh, evenly spread, then there's no mechanical adjustments you need to make. There's another one, turns the wrist. Now that, that, that hand is pretty, pretty close to the center of the ball. Middle fingers, center, the fingers look really uh, evenly spaced. So that should be a, just a wrist snapping downward. There it is, and the wrist downward, a very nice release. So you can tell when this wrist comes straight down, then there is no mechanical uh, adjustments that he, need to, that he needed to make. Now when the wrist turns one way or the other, that means the ball was sitting too much on one side or the other. And uh, again, great, players, they have a heightened sense of, of, of touch. So they can feel that little bit of extra weight on one finger or the other, and they, they, they make the adjustment. They apply more pressure to bring the ball back towards center. Think of it as a, 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 a seesaw. And when a seesaw becomes, you know, uh, even weight on both sides, it's stationary, and all, the, all that weight has been to, towards the center. So that's the same thing with your release. You want the pressure to be evenly uh, applied on the index and the ring finger, which puts a perfect middle finger release. Okay, hand starts a little bit on the outside. It's not the center of the ball. Makes the adjustment right there. You see how he's turning the wrist and the hand just a little bit to make that adjustment? And look, it's here. But watch when he makes the adjustment. See here, he can tell that the ball is sitting too much weight on his, on his index. So he wants to get that weight towards the center. So you see how he's turning the wrist, applying a little more pressure with that index, just a little bit. Now he straightens it out and gives it a nice even push with the index and the ring finger, bringing it right off the middle finger, 